I'm going to a hackathon. Am I going to break into the FBI database? Am I going to go into the dark web? Join lots of shady characters? Am I going to become Neo in the Matrix? That might be what people think a hackathon is, but it's not. A hackathon is like building a startup in a short space of time where you come together in small teams, usually two to five, and collaborate to achieve the final goal, which is to create a demo of your awesome idea. I've been going to hackathons for about 10 years, and whilst they've changed a lot over the years, I still get the same buzz and excitement every time. Why did I start going to hackathons? There are so many reasons. Hackathons allow me to accelerate my learnings. That's number one. Number two, as the majority of hackathons are open source, this allows me to get into open source even more. Number three, I also had an interest in the topic of the hackathons I attended. Either the problem that needed to be solved appealed to me, it was part of a tech for good movement, and I still had a lot of flexibility in the team to use languages and technologies and approaches that we wanted to practice. Plus, in person, hackathons usually have lots of free food and swag. So why go to hackathons? Number one, it's a great way to collaborate with different people who have different skill sets. Number two, it's a fantastic way to network. Number three, Tech for Good hackathons are a great way of giving back to the tech community and society as a whole at the same time. Number four, it's a great way to get out of tutorial hell. Number five, companies often sponsor hackathons and use these as a hiring platform, so you might meet your next client or employer there. Has this video made you want to go to a hackathon? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and which hackathons you are going to, whether it's your first hackathon or your 100th or 500th hackathon. Karuna Koalia, I'm looking at you. Here are my top tips for finding a hackathon that you will enjoy. Do your research. Look at the code of conduct of the hackathon. Is it inclusive? Does this resonate with you? Think about your team. Would you feel more comfortable if you organize a team of people before the event? This might be a good idea if you're attending your first or second hackathon and feeling a bit nervous. Don't worry, we all feel a bit nervous, but are really excited. Alternatively, it's also good fun to go with the approach that you're gonna meet new people. Think about skills. If you're in a group of similar skill set people, for example, if you're all Python or JavaScript developers, you're most likely gonna have a similar point of view. Of course, there will be differences, but let's exaggerate those differences. Problem solving works best when tackled from different angles and approaches. If you can, think about having people with different skill sets. For example, you are UX, a tester. Have a really well-rounded team, but don't limit yourself. I've been in teams with data scientists, doctors, and even voice artists. When I've had teams of mixed skill sets, those are the hackathons that we have won. Choose an open source hackathon. This is really important to me. Make sure what you're building is available for the community to learn from it. And make sure you get rest. I prefer not to attend all night hackathons. You might think all hackathons are about staying up all night, barely eating, maybe having five minutes nap on the floor, but wellness and mental health is really important. If you burn out, then you're unlikely to be able to add value to your team in a collaborative way. You may also be less likely to be able to participate in more events because you're recovering. What are you waiting for? Let me know in the comments below what hackathons you're attending, and hopefully I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, maybe share it with your friends if you think they'll be interested. And I'll see you in the Eddie Hub Discord between live streams and YouTube videos.